find you here in North Yorkshire, which I actually discovered is your birthplace. Yes, I was born in Scarborough on the coast many, many years ago. <laughs> and, uh, and I found myself here again, and it's worked out very well. I have a farm, and on my farm I do all kinds of things. I'm trying to make it into a wildlife sanctuary. From a career that, frankly, was a very international media career mm. to finding a farm in Yorkshire, it's quite a big leap. I know. I, I think I, in, my, in my mind, I wanted, to, at that time, when I was working flat out, that I wanted to do something totally different, that I could only do something totally different. Did the farm actually come about because of the Angora goats? That's, I read yes. that. that yes. It, it, yes, it did you, really. You acquired the goats before the farm. I had these goats, and then, of course, they bred, because there were some billy goats with them, and before I knew it, I had a whole pile of goats, and friends who were looking after them decided that they couldn't do any, look after them anymore, so I then had to go find a place for them. But I didn't expect a farm, I just wanted to have something quite small. But if you have all these animals, you know, and they're costing you money to keep, then you've got to think about how they can earn their living. And so that's why I started with these things. The socks, I mean, yes. they're fabulous. Also in very, what I could call, natural colours. Yes. Selena, we've met your two beautiful dogs today. Mm. Tell us a little bit about them. The cross sheep dog Labrador uh, was found under a tree. She's a highly intelligent dog. And my Alsatian is a special dog because he came from Mallorca. And he was the son of another dog that uh, I found in a, a chicken coop, uh, tied up with a short chain. He was in a terrible state. His mother was in a dreadful condition. And... Um, I, I, I wrote a book about the mother, his mother. The other dog, Nip, is, tells him what to do. In the morning he wakes up and he gives her big kisses with big licks all over her face and she looks as though this is the most awful thing she's ever experienced in her life, you know. She just will not connect with him. But then she tells him what to do and he does everything and he, he loves her. If you were to give top tips for looking after pets, probably more the dogs and the goats, what would they be? <laughs> food is vital. Good quality food. And don't be misled by all the kind of powerful advertising you see. Remember that money, the money that's being spent there um, often belies all the little, little uh, manufacturers who can produce really good quality food. Um, exercise, of course. You know, the, the transformation in an animal when they have plenty of room to run. Uh, is important. I think training is vital. The control of a dog is important. Um, I think, I think to, to not not to read too many books about dogs. You know, you, the dogs are there to be petted, to be loved. You know, if you want to give your dog a kiss, then you can give your dog a kiss. Keep them active. Keep their minds occupied. You can't shut a dog in a room and expect it just to lie down and sleep. Unless, of course, it's a very old dog, and then that's a different matter. But young dogs need attention and stimulation and all the rest of it. And uh, don't allow them on your bed. Do you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, fatal mistake. Terrible mistake. Selina, thank you very much for your passion. <laughs> thank you. Um, and for showing us a little bit of Yorkshire life. It's been wonderful talking to you today. <laughs>